All right, as you can see, it's done installing. We just press return and that window closes. So actually, it didn't prompt us to reboot. Uh, may, most of the time, it does, in the past at least. Uh, anyway, but you see the mouse is actually much more smoother than it used to be. Uh, and so there we go. So we've gone through how to install a guest operating system and how to uh, install the VirtualBox software. Uh, a couple of little, th uh, a couple more things to show you. Uh, let's say you want to mount a uh, CD drive in your virtual machine. You go to this Devices menu, CD DVD devices, and you uh, can either select the uh, CD drive for your system, or you can uh, browse uh, CD images on your machine. Uh, here's a list of images that it knows about, or you click Add, and you browse your system for more images, which will get, then get added to this list. To mount it, you just click on it and select Select, and then that will make that, that CD accessible to the virtual machine. Now, there's a, if you, uh, virtual machines have this functionality called snapshots. If I want to take a snapshot of this machine, I could click Machine and then click on Take Snapshot, or I can hit um, the right control button and hit S. That takes a snapshot of the virtual machine. Snapshots are nice when you're doing software testing or you know something that you're not sure about. You know, you might want to roll back afterwards, or maybe you you st always start the day off with the machine like this and you want to make changes to it but then at the end of the day you always want to roll back to the way the machine was at the beginning of the day you can take snapshots of the machine and then at any time you can roll the machine back to a previous snapshot so I'm going to go ahead and click take snapshot and we can give it the snapshot a name and a description say OK and so it saves a copy of the uh, virtual machines memory so that it can put the memory state back to before you took the back to the time before you took the snapshot and then it puts a little marker on the virtual hard disk file that uh, keeps track of what the machine looked like before you took the snapshot so now I'm going to co come in here I'm just going to make one change I'll just create a folder on the desktop so you know I can make any number of changes I can you know move stuff around I can uh, create files, or I can, you know, do whatever I want. And so now, you see I've made some changes to the system. I can go back up here, and I can tell it to... I can come down here and I can click Close. Now when I click Close, it's asking me what I want to do. I want to power off the machine, I want to send, you know, I want to tell the machine to shut down cleanly, I can you know, just save the state of the machine. It's kind of like Hibernate uh, in Windows XP and 7, etc. But this checkbox here, re Restore Current Snapshot Snapshot 1, that's the snapshot we just took. So if when we say OK, it's now going to try to roll the machine back. Now I click Start again. And now you see it's restoring the virtual machine to the snapshot. And you can see uh, all the changes I made to the machine have gone away, and it's back to the way it was before I took the snapshot. So that's how snapshots work. Uh, one last thing uh, before we go. We'll go ahead and shut down the virtual machine. We'll tell it to shut down. Yeah, over here on your right, you can see here the, there's these various uh, settings for the virtual machine. Uh, we can change a, just about all of those by clicking this settings button. It opens up the settings for the virtual machine. So in here we can uh, you know tell it that we're using a different operating system. We can you know tell it okay yes we want to share the clipboard. No we don't want to share the clipboard. Uh, we can adjust the amount of video memory available to the virtual machine. We can even enable 3D acceleration which isn't that great in a virtual machine, but you can do it. Uh, you can add additional virtual hard disks or remove other virtual hard disks. You can tell it whether or not you want audio. You can adjust the network connection. Right now it's got a NAT, if, but if you wanted this virtual machine accessible from your network, you'd want to change that to something like maybe a bridged adapter. Or if you can dedicate a network card to it, you might want to do that. 
Uh, you can give it access to the serial ports on your computer. Uh, you can give it USB support. This is what would allow you to connect a USB device to your virtual machine. And you can actually share folders with your virtual machine um, to transfer to make it easier to transfer files between your virtual machine and your host machine. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, I guess if you have any questions, just uh, contact me through the contact us uh, section of the website and let me know.